In today's video, I'm going to talk about lens distortion correction for GoPro footage and a simple one-click method of fixing this footage in Videoproc Vlogger. Now, there are a lot of different ways to fix lens distortion on GoPro footage and any footage. But with GoPro footage, the lens distortion is notorious because GoPros have that very wide-angle lens, and there's often going to be that fisheye effect. And in certain settings, the fisheye effect is great, it looks great, it's very useful. But in other settings, there's going to be a lot of use cases where you'll want to correct that footage and not have that lens distortion. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a simple one-click method of fixing this. Now, there are a lot of different ways to fix this. There's a variety of video editing programs that you can use where this can be fixed. However, in a lot of them, it does take a little bit of work to fix it. It's not just a simple one-click fix like it is with Videoproc Vlogger. If you haven't seen my video on Videoproc Vlogger, I've linked to it above. So I'm going to use some example footage from my GoPro today. And some of the footage will be from the Hero 6, and some of the footage will be from the Hero 10. And I'm going to simply show you how to quickly and easily correct the lens distortion on each of those clips. If you do find this video to be helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe and bell notification so you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. All right, it's time to hop on over to Videoproc Vlogger, and I'm going to show you how to do this lens correction on GoPro footage. So I'm going to get Videoproc Vlogger opened here. And I've set up a project with lens correction so that the footage is all loaded and so I don't waste your time. So I've got a couple clips here and uh, these are clips I've filmed over the last year. So this clip right here is a classic example of why we would want some lens correction. Uh, you see the railings here with that fisheye, it's got quite a bend in it. And also the stairs here kind of have that bowing effect. So lens correction is especially applicable when you're dealing with objects like this, like stairs, or if you're in cities and you have skylines or buildings. And you know, there's gonna be a lot of those curves in those that don't look like they should. So what I'm gonna do with this clip here is I'm gonna scroll down here on the right and I'm gonna get down here where it says lens distortion correction. And I'm gonna make sure my clip that I'm working on is selected here, which you can see with the white borders around it. And I'm gonna take one click here. I'm gonna click lens distortion correction. Clicking that instantly fixes the railing here it's now straight, like it should be, and the stairs are also fixed. So if I unselect that, you can see what it was before, and then I select it. Now one thing you'll notice is there is, of course, a crop here, and if you don't want it to crop quite as much as it does by default, you can mess a little bit with these numbers here. So with the horizontal, you can see that there if I do that. If I click down on that, it's gonna affect how much it crops there. And then the vertical, you can mess with that as well. However, I find that the crop in general, the default crop looks great. And you can mess around with transform down here as well. But usually I like to leave that alone as well. The transform default is really good. Any values that you change, you're going to see this arrow next to them. And what this arrow is, is this is a reset to default. So this I changed to 102. And let's change this one to 60. And let's change this one to 100. So these values, anytime you change at least one of these, you're gonna see the arrow here. And if you click it, it's gonna take them all back to their defaults. Uh, the same thing down here with transform. You can mess around with this. And if you wanna get back to what the default was, all you have to do is click the arrow right here. And it's gonna take you back. Now you'll notice when I select the lens distortion, the defaults here are custom. So what you can do after that is you can select your camera from the list. Videoproc Vlogger does offer support for all GoPros from the Hero 10 all the way back to the Hero 3. So you can click your GoPro model here, which is the Hero 6. And then for your camera view, you can select what setting you had your lens set to. So in this case, this footage was set to wide. And this had already detected that and defaulted to that. But well, you'll notice if you change the camera view here, it does change the cropping. So if you don't select the correct view that you filmed it in, you're still gonna notice some fisheye. So in this case, I did not film it in super view, I filmed it in wide. I'm gonna show you a couple other clips uh, to show you how this works. So let's skip ahead here to uh, some Hero 10 footage. Let's go to this clip right here. 
This is a classic one where I'd want to fix the fisheye. That bridge up there has quite a curve to it. And I can assure you that bridge does not look like that. That bridge has straight beams on it and does not have any curvature. So I'm gonna go over here and click Lens Distortion Correction. And instantly it straightens that out big time. It looks a lot better. And this was filmed on a Hero 10. So I'm gonna select that. It was filmed in wide. So I'm gonna select wide right here. And wide definitely gives the best results. That looks truest to what it actually looked like. So that footage is instantly improved and looks a lot better. And if we go back to when it wasn't selected here, you can see a lot of the bend here. Then when I select it again, fixes it big time. And right here, when I unselect it, you can see how the rail here is crooked. Select it, straight, looks great. So I'm gonna show you one more clip here where this is really pronounced and where it can make a big difference. So this clip, uh, when we're hiking across this bridge, that rail is very crooked and very distorted with a lot of fisheye on it. So I'm gonna make sure my clip is selected here and I'm gonna select Lens Distortion Correction. Instantly fixes it, looks a lot better. But in the case of this one, it did keep my settings from the last one I corrected. So I need to change this to wide. As you can see, that looks a lot better. So let me show you this one once more, just to show you how big of a difference it actually makes. Let's put it right here in the clip. I'm gonna deselect this. Boom. Lots of curve and fisheye there. I'm going to apply it now. Much better. And I will note, you can also use this with the Max Lens mod. So if you film footage with Max Lens, I've tested it out and it still looks great when using the lens correction. I, you will want to select your camera view of wide or super view when correcting for the max lens mod, and it looks great. Now the one type of lens you will not need to do this with is gonna be the anamorphic lens here. So if you haven't seen my videos on the anamorphic lens, I've linked to the one above where I talk about this. But the anamorphic lens here, because of the way this is designed, this lens does not need any correction, because when you're filming with this lens, it already has its own distortion built into it, which you then have to correct when editing later on. But the way that that footage is corrected is totally different from how we're lens correcting here. So if you do anamorphic footage, you would not want to use the lens correction tool here because it will not benefit you. And in fact, it will make it look worse. You'll definitely want to follow my tutorial for how to correct anamorphic footage in your video editing software. So that is how you quickly and easily correct lens distortion using Videoproc Vlogger. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. I always love to hear from you. And until we talk again, happy GoProing.